Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to another sketchbook video. This time I thought I'd do a voiceover and see how that goes. I've um, never done it before so it might be completely rubbish, we'll see. Um, forgive me for any mishaps, awkwardness or stumbles. For anyone that doesn't know, hi, I'm Sarah. I go by S. Cole Illustration on Instagram and pretty much every other social media. Um, so I have no idea what I'm doing but <laughs> let's see how this goes. So first off, it's a A4 black moleskin sketchbook. Uh, that I abandoned in 2016 and completed again this year. The sticker on the front is by one of my favourite YouTubers, Danica Sills. And I'll put her link to her videos in the description. So the first page is just cutouts from really old sketchbooks. I wanted to, I hate having blank, blank pages so they needed filling. Um, I also like to put a little section in the front uh, which is kind of like goals for the sketchbook so what I'm not, what I want to practice, what, what I'm not too great on so that if I get stuck halfway through, I know I want to draw but I don't know what, I can always refer back to that and I've got something to practice. When I started the sketchbook in 2016, I was really into ink and black coloured pencil. I thought it had a really cool effect. It's probably one of my favourite drawings in this book, actually. And pretty much all of these images that I'm showing you now are, are taken from reference photos from Pinterest. was a page trying to practice expression every single one from reference so I love her <laughs> this is when I got a brush pen <laughs> I love drawing clothes, that's one of my main things. Faces and clothes are my favourite things to draw. Some anatomy practice on there. This is my first time using gouache. I still can't understand how to use it. <laughs> but it's going to take practice I think. So it was just um, a misprint, I thought I'd stick that in. These are some illustrations I did of um, Instagrammer fashion influx. This is now getting into the time where I picked up the sketchbook again. You can, well I can tell anyway, I don't know if you can. <laughs> the difference in the faces, I think I'm a lot better at this stage than like in the beginning more confident with this was a very experimental page <laughs> uh, I wanted to try and do a, a fashion illustration from collage so I took an editorial from a magazine and pasted it together. This is probably my favourite page in the whole book. She's one of my favourites. More faces, 
first time doing an ink drawing without any pencil so just pen no rubbing out so the next few pages uh, were a commission that I got asked to do for a clothing company um, which um, unfortunately the project fell through but these are all the initial sketches that I did for the project. Figuring out the clothing pose. Some more, these were more background plants. This was the final sketch, the final piece I came up with. Which the client was actually very happy about. Um, it was unfortunate that the, the project itself couldn't continue, but I got good feedback, so I was really pleased with that. Some more gouache practice. I thought I'd practice some jungle leaves really love the colours of this one. Again, these are referenced from Pinterest. Um, and then this is a my own fashion illustration of the Del Pozo collection. More faces. More big faces. You might see a lot of these um, pictures familiar. A lot of them are on my Instagram. Tiny houses. This is a really, really good sketching exercise um, that I love doing. I'm going to do a blog post on how I how I do this. It's just to get out of a, a drawing rut and it uses your imagination, and I love it. So this will be a blog post coming fairly soon when I get round to it. Anatomy and body practice. Now. This is my start of my Reborn series that I've been got going on at the moment. If I can, I'll insert images um, of the final pieces of these as well. These are the initial sketches. This I want to make into a really big, a big long piece. I have so many ideas at the moment though, I can't figure out the time to do more. <laughs> These are some more thumbnail ideas for bigger pieces. More faces. Body poses. Now this drawing I am super proud of. <laughs> it was my second attempt at a biro drawing without pencil and I think it turned out pretty good. Like if you compare the faces, the clothing and everything. With the first one, I mean, what's that? And that, in comparison, I think there's a lot of improvement, I'm really pleased. It's really good practice to do things like this. It makes you, makes you look more, even though that sounds silly, but it does. Body pose practice. I like doing this, I like next to drawings, I really like doing these little stick men so I can figure out the actual structure of the pose that they're sat in so that later on if I want to draw out of my memory instead of seeing this and thinking oh no, how the hell do I make a sit like that I've got a more clear outline structure of how to, how to build the character and then Put the body parts on top of that. <laughs> These are some more thumbnails for bigger ideas which are at the bottom of the pile again. Uh, face practice. First time drawing male faces. More male faces. Hopefully you can see these ones because they're a bit lighter in blue. A 
another biro only drawing no pencil these are my initial sketches for my fashion devils more post practice and figuring out um, the outline structure of how this stood these are the initial sketches for my Gucci illustration that one, that one might be familiar I'll put a picture of that as well it was my first attempt at drawing no faces from no reference with a barrel pen not bad for a first attempt I don't think now this page is my latest blog post if you haven't seen it they'll I'll put a link in the description uh, it's something I like to do if I get really really stuck and in a rut with no ideas it's um, a little sketching exercise I like to do using Pinterest but I'll, I'll put a link to my blog post below it's, it ex explains it in more detail there fashion drawings These are some more Reborn series watercolour initial sketches. I'm working on this one currently at the moment. What I like about flicking through this book is compared to the last one I did, I can really see improvement and it's, it's all down to the fact that I've dedicated time every single day to drawing. No matter what I'm doing in the day I always make time to draw even if it's literally one one small face and the improvement over time has been drastic I, I think anyway I mean let me know if if I'm talking completely rubbish <laughs> but I can see I can see improvement so this is a page of faces that I haven't used reference to draw and this is another page of no referenced faces. Got that brush pen out again. And we're at the end. Oh, this is another thing I like to do. I like I use the very back page for scribbles, testing out different medias to see how the paper works. Because pretty much every time I get a new sketchbook, I try a different brand. So I like to test how the paper holds up here. And also at the back, I like to put a, like kind of like a reflection of everything that I think I need to improve on. So looking back through all the pages, what do I need to practice in the next book and then in the next sketchbook I'll transfer this list to the front of the next book so that's it thanks for watching maybe I'll make this talking thing a regular thing but we'll see <laughs> um, thanks again and hope to see you next time bye